Hey guys, it's Randy here at eTrailer.com. Today we're taking a look at a really neat product. This is going to allow you to turn a straight or pole tongue type trailer into a trailer that we can use most every weight distribution system on. This is from Reese. This is their pole tongue adapter for weight distribution systems. It's rated for 1,400 pounds of tongue weight, 14,000 pounds of gross trailer weight if we mount it on top of our trailer like we've got it set now. Tongue goes in right here. Or for 1,200 pounds of tongue weight and 12,000 pounds of gross trailer weight if we mount it on the bottom. So we, this whole rope assembly would be flipped over upside down. I think this is a, a good idea. I like the fact with those heavier boats and things like that, you'll sometimes have the sway issues. You'll sometimes have a lot of that weight pressing down. This is going to help to restore safety across the entire rig. You won't have the the pitching down in the middle, we can bring all that back up level, help surge couplers work a lot better. It's going to help your vehicle in the braking side as far as everything being nice and level and our weight transferred across all of our axles. Now it's going to work again, like most weight distribution systems, especially the ones from Reese, the round bar, trunnion bar, the SC weight distribution systems, and the steady flex. The only one they don't recommend using it on and you shouldn't use it on is the straight line weight distribution setup with the dual cam sway controls. That's a, just a little bit different sway control system and it's just not going to work on this setup. But overall it's going to go out to, let me show you here, these brackets, this is the front side here. This is the back side here. The back, brackets on the back side are a little bit narrower than the ones on the front. These are going to go out to four inches. So any trailer frame widths up to four inches. And then our tongue is going to sit here. And then we'll go right down to this front bolt. To the top of that bolt from where your tongue sits. This is four and a half inches. Pull this out of here. I rotate that you can see so that was in that upper hole right there both our brackets are going to have the same set of holes and they're on one inch increments so we can go four and a half five and a half six and a half seven and a half and eight and a half inch frame depths now if you happen to have uh, one of the more odd sized trailers if it doesn't fall in those parameters you do want to ensure that you put a steel spacer in any gap that you might have here so we don't want any room between where those bolts are and where the uh, the trailer's sitting up here. Okay. Also, you want to keep in mind that you don't want to use these with a uh, a swing away trailer coupler. You're putting a lot of energy back onto the trailer through that tongue, and you just don't want to mess that up. I'm going to pull these brackets off right now. Of course, there's going to be four brackets, two in the front, two in the back. And we're going to take a look at some of the other measurements on it. At this point, we know what it's going to fit. Let's figure out kind of the dimension-wise what you'll be looking at, what will be sitting basically on top of your, your trailer there. Now, this is recommended that you put this center of it, so right in the dead center of the top of this, to your coupler, to the, the where your ball sits in your coupler at 29 inches. You can go forward and back from that a little bit. I think maximum on it, or I know maximum on it is 32 inches to center. But with most of your weight distribution systems, they're in that 27 to 29 inch range there. All right, let's bring this down, kind of get a look at the side of it. This is where our This is where our weight distribution system is going to connect. The usable portion is a little bit narrower than what we see at the top. That's going to be right down here. It's going to be seven and a quarter inches wide, and that's going to be five inches tall. It gives us a really nice connection point for most of those weight distribution systems. That shouldn't be an issue getting them connected. From front to back, it's a little bit wider. Here it's going to be seven and a half inches all the way across. At its widest point, that's going to be the back. It's going to be 23 inches. So if you measure from the center of your tongue of your trailer out each way half of that, which is what that 11 and a half inches, that's going to be your total overhang. And at its narrowest point in the front, it's 18 and three quarter. 
I think this is going to be a really nice solution for a lot of guys with the heavier boats. You know, you always want to feel safe as you're traveling, and sometimes with those heavier boats, getting out there to the destination, you just aren't. Working with customers with these, they really like the improvements that you get. If you spend a lot of time hauling a boat, and if any time sway becomes a factor, or you've just got that that pitch down that changes the handling of your truck it changes the wear and tear in your trailer and it's really just not worth going through it so I think this is a nice easy bolt-on situation you're gonna have half inch hardware to deal with 9 16 3 quarter inch wrench socket and a torque wrench and you'll be good to go you'll have it installed pretty quickly connect your weight distribution system to it and then you know you'll be hauling right at that point I think it'll leave you very satisfied and the quality of construction is really nice on it so that's going to wrap it up for our look at the, uh, the straight tongue or pole tongue weight distribution system.